smudge is all over my lens. Oh well. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have today for you another nail polish haul, and today's nail polish haul is going to be from another indie brand, and, or brand, not brand. Forgot the D. Anyways, today's indie haul is going to be from the brand Native War Paints. I heard about this brand from uh, Jess Face 90 or 09, and I just love her channel, and she has such great recommendations for indie nail polishes, and she's always swatching these ones and talking about these ones, so I was really excited to try them. I actually got four mini bottles. I got three from the Autumn collection and then one from the Walking Dead collection. So I just got the little tiny, tiny ones. So I'm going to now show you the nail polishes that I got. I do have them swatched on the nail wheel and I will let you know what I think. I'm gonna start off with the one polish that I got from the Walking Dead collection and it is called the Archer, which is obviously based off of Daryl's character. So it's got a great curly base and it also also has little light blue. Are they hexes or circles? What? You just so I'm not allowed to come up here. I, I get to get stuff. No, you can come up here, but you can't make faces at me. I didn't. I didn't make any faces. I just walked up the stairs. I'm allowed. I'm an adult male. I'm an adult male. I'm allowed to do what I want. So this polish is a gray crelly base, and it has a baby blue glitter, so it's probably like micro glitter type size, and then it also has black glitters through it as well. This is what the polish looks like here up close. And here it is swatched on the nail. This is opaque in two coats. It does have a bit of a texture to it and it does dry glossy. I really like this. I think it's a great fall color and it's different. I've never seen anything like it so I quite enjoy. I like it very much. The next polish I got is from the Autumn Collection and this is called Under the Starry Sky and this is a black crelly base and it has different gold and holographic glitter through it. So there are some hexes, there's some little squares and there's also some circles but they're all the same color. This is a really, really nice fall color. It reminds me kind of of Halloween and it does, oh I forgot to mention, it does have some larger circle glitters in it. I don't know if you really classified as a glitter, but it's very, very holographic, and it kind of looks like a moon when it's on the nail. Unfortunately, I don't think I got any of the big ones on my swatch when I did it, but mm, that happens. So this is what the polish looks like up close and a personal. It's very, very sparkly, and there's actually a lot of glitter in it. It comes off on the nail really, really easily, so it's a lot easier to work with than you would think of for a glitter like this. And it's very shiny. This is opaque in, I think I gave it two coats, and I would definitely put a top coat on this as well. The next one I got is called Crisp Red Apples, another one from their fall collection, and this is a dark reddish burgundy color, and it has a holographic shimmer all throughout it, and it is a bit of a darker red burgundy, so it doesn't, it's not very bright, it's definitely a darker, very fall appropriate color. So this is what it looks like here in the container. As you can see, it's definitely a very like dark red, but it does have a bit of that vibrance to it. This is it swatched on the nail right here. When you get this nail polish in the sun, it's actually crazy how it looks. There's just so many holographic shimmers through it, and it just looks really, really nice on the nails. I was immediately attracted to this nail polish. It's just, it's so unique and I really, really like it. Now I saved my absolute favorite one for last. I made an order because of this polish. I thought it was so unique, it's so different. I haven't seen anything like it. It looks different in every single light that you have it in. In the sun, it looks different than it does indoors and it does like when it's slightly dim and all that, oh my God, anyways. And I love the name too. It's called My Favorite Sweater. And this is kind of a teal blue nail polish, but it has a gold shimmer through it, but it's like a goldish greeny shimmer. And it's just, I don't know, the combination, the way it looks on the nails is outstanding. Like I was wearing this on my nails and I was like literally just staring at them because they, I, I love them. Like I love them so much. So big fan. This is what the polish looks like up close here. And this is what it looks like swatched on the wheel. It does dry to be kind of like a semi matte and you can see the shimmer all through it, but it looks much darker here than it would in the sunlight where you're gonna get a lot more of that gold shimmer. I'm gonna insert a picture as well to show you what it looks like when there's a bit more bright light on it. A lot of her nail polishes, at least I know from her autumn, I have the hiccups. 
at least from our autumn collection, do have matching eyeshadows, which is a really, really cool thing. Those are the only four that I got. As I said, I did get the mini bottles, just because I like to test out a new brand with a mini instead of paying full price for a big bottle, and if I didn't like it, you know. And plus, you can test out a lot more colors when you get the minis. I believe that for the minis, it was like four, it was either four dollars or four dollars and fifty cents. I can't remember. I'm gonna also leave all of her information down below so uh, the website you could check everything out. Overall, I'm a really, really big fan of the polish. I think they're beautiful. The formula is so great. The color selection is really unique, and I just, I really love it. And I'm definitely gonna be ordering more from Native War Paints. My only complaint is the size of the minis are really really small like I know it's a mini so it's meant to be small but I held this up next to my dollish polish minis which were the other indie brand that I got um, I'll link that haul down below as well and there was just a lot more polish in the dollish polish minis compared to these ones I just think that they're really really tiny like super super tiny anyways that's pretty much what you get when you order a mini anyway so I'm not actually complaining I just think that next time that I get them I'm gonna go for the full size now that I know that I love the formulas and everything and it was really sweet because she wrote me like a personal note on my uh, orders order slip like hope you love the polish and all that stuff so I thought that was a really really nice touch I love it when companies add that little personal touch so I definitely highly highly recommend these if you guys are looking to get into more indie brands I'm now very into native war paints I'm a big fan Ugh. Everything's falling over. That is all that I have for my Native War Paints nail polish haul. Let me know if you have any suggestions for different indie brands down below, please. I would love to kind of explore that a bit more, as I've said before. And make sure you go and check out Native War Paints website, and they also have their Instagram. I follow their Instagram, and it's really, really great as well. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! So